Welcome back, this is Rito here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing how to install mods in Terraria. You can see I'm on the home screen and we've got mods and mod browser. These are available when you have Tmod Loader. So in this video I'm going to show how to install Tmod Loader and how to then use these options right here. So let me first show you where we download Tmod Loader. In the description of the video I'll have a link to the Tmod Loader download. But if you're having trouble finding the link there, you can always just type in Tmod Loader into Google and the first result will be the terrariaforms.org and this will be the Tmod Loader webpage. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open that. And like I said, there's a link to this webpage right here in the description of this video. This page has everything you really need to know. It's got an introduction to what Tmod Loader is and it shows the current version and it talks about creating mods, uh, some credits and all that. And then this is really the most important spot. Right here you have the current version and then it shows the direct download links and you can also download past versions. So since I use Windows and I run the game through Steam, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Windows download link. Uh, there's also Mac and Linux. It will automatically download the file. You can see it has downloaded. So now I'm in my downloads folder and you can see we've got Tmod Loader Windows version 11.6.2. We want to right click on it and I can just click extract all. So once when you've extracted the files, you'll see this folder right here. You've got your readme and you've got all of the Tmod Loader files. So let's open the readme really quickly. I just copied all the information from the readme notepad into just a Word document here. You can just extract it like we already did and then run the tmod loader installer file. It's a .jar file and you'll need a Java 1.8 or higher to run that install. And then it will automatically tell you if it's been successful and pretty much do all the work for you. So in order to do that, we just need to double click on this file right here and then that will do the install. There's also the option of doing a manual install. If it doesn't work or if you don't have the right Java upgrades or if you just don't wanna run that, um, then you can do a manual. So what you need to do is you need to find your Terraria install folder and it gives you the example file path. You know, it's the C drive program file, Steam, Steam apps, common and Terraria. Mine's actually on the D drive. So this is the file path that I use in order to find it. And you can see right here, I've got all of my Terraria files and I've already copied the files from Tmod Loader in. So before you copy it, all you'll want to do is create a copy of this Terraria EXE file and rename it. Um, I've already done that and I've just stored that in a different folder. And then what you do now is you just have your extracted Tmod Loader folder right here and you just copy all this and paste it right here. Then you pretty much got Tmod Loader installed. And that is the manual way of installing Tmod Loader. It's easier just to double click this jar file and it will do it all for you. But if you're, you know, unable to use that or if you just want to do it manually, then just follow the file path. And if you do have any issues, of course, open up the readme and go through the steps and make sure you haven't missed anything. So when you open Terraria from Steam next time, it will include the Terraria mod browser and mod options from Tmod Loader and you won't have to do anything else. One thing I wanted to mention is once when you've installed Tmod Loader, it will add a mod loader folder to your Terraria folders in your documents library. So the first time you open Tmod Loader, you may get a little nervous because you won't see your players or your worlds from vanilla Terraria. And that's not actually an issue because you have all of your players and worlds saved right here in this documents my games terraria folder you might have it at a different location but you do have all of your players and worlds saved but when you have team mod loader installed it's going to be accessing all of these files from this mod loader folder so you need to open this mod loader folder and you see you've got another one that's got it's got mods mod sources mods configs captures players worlds if i want to copy you know, players and worlds over from a vanilla playthrough and use them with Tmod Loader, then I'll just open this and I can just copy these right here. And then I can go into Mod Loader and open up players and paste them in. And then I'll have all of my players from vanilla in my modded folder. And it's the same thing with worlds. So next we're just gonna go ahead and open up Terraria from the Steam 
launcher, just like normal. You can already see at the bottom left hand corner, it says Tmod Loader version 11.6.2. And then it, this is Terraria version 1.3.5.2. If this is your first time using Tmod Loader, you'll wanna go directly to Mod Browser so you can start finding different mods. And all you do is you type right up here in the search, you just click on it, and then we can type Thorium in and you'll see we can find the Thorium mod right here. There's an option to click more info, which will tell you the different things that the Thorium mod will add. And then you can click the download button right here. It shows when it was last updated as well. So you just download it. And then once when you have all of the mods that you'd like downloaded, there's also an option to update all of your mods and reload the browser. Then you can go over to your mods and you'll see all of the mods that you have installed. So these are the main ones that I use. I highly recommend these. They're very good. Like boss checklist is really helpful when you're playing a modded playthrough to know all the bosses you need to fight. And then I have recipe browser, which is just what I'm used to. It's very easy to figure out, you know, the different modded recipes. And then I have the calamity mod music, which goes with the calamity mod, the alchemist NPC light, which adds the alchemist NPCs, but it doesn't add all of the extra stuff that the full alchemist NPC mod adds. I have max stack plus, which just increases the uh, size of the stacks that you can have for different items. Then I have vein miner, which allows me to mine the full vein when I break the first block. Weapons out. I just think that mod looks really cool, so I use it. it shows like your sword on the on your back, or you know, it shows you holding the bow if you have a bow equipped. And then the Louis AFK mod, which is just a bunch of quality of life stuff. So those are the mods I generally use, and these are the ones that I'm currently using in the Anna the Archer playthrough. You also have the option to enable and disable mods. So you can just click right here and it will disable a mod. And you can see right there, it says reload required, which means if I don't reload my mods, it's still gonna be enabled. So right now I would need to click reload and it would go through the loading screen like you're just rebooting the game. And then it would take effect without this recipe browser mod. But I'm gonna leave it enabled. There's also these info boxes on each of these and configurations for some of these as well. And you can see for like the Alchemist NPC light, you can actually turn off some of the NPCs. So say you don't want to have the tinkerer or the musician, all you would need to do is turn off this and they would no longer spawn. If I want to delete a mod, all I need to do is click on this enable button so it's marked as disabled. And then I will reload mods and then go to the more info and click delete and that will remove your mod. And if you ever want it back, you can always just go to the mod browser and search the mod that you're looking for. So that is how you install Tmod Loader and use mods in Terraria. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I can try to answer them to the best of my ability. Also, if you have specific bugs or anything like that, definitely check out the Terraria form for Tmod Loader. There's lots of resources in the many, many pages on that form. I hope you all have found this video helpful. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do Terraria Let's Plays and Weapon Showcases. So there's lots of other Terraria content on my channel. So if you'd wanna check that out, be sure to do so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.